What's up, Resto Mods? We got something special for you today. It's not a classic, it's not restored, and it's not modified. But one of our members was in the neighborhood picking his car up from the dealership and wanted to bring it by to share with us this amazing 2014 LaFerrari. And it's not just any LaFerrari. This is number one of 499. And uh, this is the owner right here. And why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about the car first. What is this? This is a limited production called La Ferrari. This car replaced the previous supercar that Ferrari made, which was called an Enzo. Yeah. Uh, Enzo was uh, also made with only 399 cars. I actually had to wait a long time to receive the car. Okay? Yeah. It was torture, pain to say the Waiting, least. Waiting, right? Yes. The Originally, I was in line to get the Enzo, but I missed my turn. So subsequently, I was promised at that time that I might have a chance at the next uh, supercar. So this is not an entry-level Ferrari. So this isn't your first one. No, this is my 12th. Wow. But it is the second supercar that Ferrari made that I was able to purchase. My first one was actually a used one. It was an F40 wow. that I managed I to buy, which was a wonderful car. It's a beast. Yeah. And then I kind of wanted to have another supercar. Unfortunately, as much as I waited and I called favors and I asked for mercy. So subsequently, I just kept waiting and kept harassing and kept asking and kept begging and whatever. And later on, back in 2017, I was told that I have a chance to get one. And I said, okay, I'll take it. That's my chance. Sure. Unfortunately, the price wasn't the same. I mean, I had to pay uh, a huge premium. I can imagine. For the car, not knowing what it is, I just knew it's a LaFerrari. I had no idea how special the car would be. I only found that out after I received the car. And so tell us about how special it is. I mean, this is literally, they only made 499 of these? That's correct. And this is number? This happens to be number one. Number one. Number one, it was uh, kept for a very special Ferrari dealer who carries a lot of privileges with the factory. Yeah. So since and that was the Houston very, dealership? Yeah, so since he was very high up, he managed to obtain the car. And I got a phone call one day asking me if I would be interested in purchasing the car, not telling me at that time that that's what it is. Right. Just knowing that there's going to be a huge, a, huge, a, a huge premium. Right. Okay, which I didn't want to pay. But since I've been waiting for so long, Tortured. In, in, the, in the background for as long as 10 years, I decided to take the deep and take the chance. And then I started basically uh, placing deposits and money against the car. Uh, luckily, I had the chance to have the car built to my specifications. So even though it wasn't built for me, I still managed to choose the color, the interior, the wheels, all the carbon fiber that you see around the car, sure. the color of the seat belts. So when I first saw it at the car show in Beverly Hills on Rodero Drive, I thought that was the prettiest car I've made. And that was about two years prior to me actually receiving it. That was during the unveil of the LaFerrari in America. I made a special choice on the wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, it comes with different wheels. Those are blacks so that they kind of feed the car. Mm -hmm. The 98% of the cars came with a solid color, but I decided to add uh, the black in the front to give it some accent, mm -hmm. make it a little more distinguished, and you can actually see it right here in the very front. Yeah. So when you look at the car from the front to the back, it flows very well. And if you see the color of the roof, it's the same color as the black sconces mm -hmm. on the car itself. I was lucky enough to choose the interior, which you can see it's got a lot of yellow striping uh, built into it. I put all the carbon fiber I can, you know, such as the spoiler. Yeah, I see some hair. Yeah, it's there. It's all over the inside of the car. And it's got the special uh, exhaust tips, which are titanium. I love the exhaust note of this car, which hopefully we'll hear soon. It has a very special and very distinctive appearance. More carbon fiber here. It's called um, a triple yellow paint, okay? It has like, I believe, 32 layers of paint. If you look into the paint, it's got a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. I mean, you see a yellow it's car metallic. normally, and this doesn't look just yellow. Yeah, yes. And I love how you carried it through to the engine cover, too. That's right, that's right. I kind of loved it from the very beginning. It's a little rough to drive, so I choose not to drive it. And being the first car, 
it carries a lot of premium and a lot of value and that was very surprising when yeah i mean putting it. miles on this car is not like putting miles on a normal car right mm, especially being the first one number one yeah makes it uh, extremely uh, special and it'll always be a collector item uh, because of what it is and because of the serial number on the car sure i think any la ferrari is a collector's item let alone this one i think is you know the best of the best it's basically like driving a picasso I absolutely love it. I mean, I go to my garage every couple of weeks just to take a look at it. <laughs> I uncover it, basically. I keep it covered all the time. I uncover sure. it. I take a look at it. I enjoy it. I go back home. When I do drive it, which happens to be every six or eight months, I take it out for a couple miles. So the driving experience of this car, it's obviously a Ferrari, so you expect top-end performance out of this thing. What, what, is, uh, what kind of engine is it packing? It has uh, over 900 horsepower. I think as far as the speed stats, it's one of the fastest cars ever made. From zero to 60, I believe it does something like 2.3 seconds. Wow. From zero to 60, it has a top end of about 212 miles an hour. It has a lot of torque. It carries the speed all the way basically to the top speed. So there's no hesitation, okay, when you take it out on the road. I mean, it continues on being very powerful. Have you been up to 212 in this one? Uh, no, 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 I haven't. <laughs> I, I value my life too much. <laughs> well, that, that and the, uh, the price tag, I'm sure, is a little bit uh, That's right. That's intimidating right. to go that fast. That's correct. This has been my favorite car out of all the ones I bought uh, for several reasons. First of all, it's one of uh, Ferrari's best and last May 12-cylinder supercar. They'll never make another one again. So the next car will be probably an 8-cylinder with a turbocharge uh, built in. I think looks-wise, it doesn't compare to anything else I've owned. Sure. I mean, I've owned quite a few. It's a lot more distinctive. It's a lot more aerodynamic. And the fact that uh, I was lucky enough to own the first one would always make it very special. You can go out to the market and you can probably buy a replacement of Ferrari. There are other ones for sale. Mm -hmm. But you'll never be able to buy the first one. Yeah. It'll never exist. It'll never come back. So it makes it very dear uh, to my heart to have the opportunity to actually on such a, a collector item. It's a piece of that history. Absolutely, can never be replaced. And uh, if, if I get lucky enough, maybe I'll have a chance to buy the replacement uh, to the LaFerrari, which will come out in about three years. I did notice on the uh, VIN tag over there where it says 001, it says hybrid. It is a hybrid, that's correct. It has to always be connected to a charger while it sits you can actually drive it a mile without actually accelerating or turning the engine on. Right. What fun is that? From what I understand, it gives it a little more extra horsepower. So yeah. it makes it a little quicker. And I think all the new ones that are coming out are basically hybrid and all the supercars. It doesn't look like a battery charged car, but it is. Not at all, especially when you look through this back window and you see what's, uh, I keep it's, wanting to say under the hood, but that's not the hood. It's, it's a beast. Yeah. I mean, to say the least, it, it's a beast. I mean, it really is. I mean. It can get you in trouble really fast, even though it has all the safety features to what keep you in line. What kind of shifter are you using in there? Is it a manual shift, paddle shift? Or? You can do both. You can, ride, you can ride it on auto, which will shift for you. Right. Or you can actually shift yourself manually from first to second. It has six gears. Sure. And uh, it, it takes off. It really does. I bet. I yeah. bet. Can we hear this thing run? Absolutely. <laughs> That is such a unique note. That's unbelievable. Thank you so much for bringing this car by. As we discussed, it's an unbelievable work of art and a piece of history. And, and I'm fortunate to stand in its presence. You're fortunate to own it. And thank you so much for bringing it by. Thank you for having me. It's a privilege to show it to all your members. I hope you guys enjoy looking at it. And I hope I'm privileged enough to bring you the next uh, replacement to this car. Absolutely. So can I take it for a spin? Uh, in a minute. <laughs> let, me, let me ask my kids. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.